Hello, good morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I spent my morning packing up some candle orders that I received overnight. And I am so thankful that you guys are loving these so much. I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys that are just like melting my heart. So I'm going to ship these out at noon. In fact, I'm running low on boxes, so I need to go pick up some more at the post office when I go, oops, to drop these bad boys off this afternoon i'm all out of my yellow candles which those were my favorites so i don't have any of those available as of right now when this video is being recorded but i just finished cleansing and charging and meditating with this red energy and then the green energy also two of my favorites i feel like these are staples for me and i'm constantly burning red and green for myself so red just to let you guys know is really great at giving you a lot of self-love right confidence making sure that you have that inner beauty that shines outward so you're glowing your aura is radiating wherever you go also helps to attract your soulmate into your life friends people with like interest so reddish is really good for overall love and abundance energy which is why i love it it really helps me on my own spiritual journey to connect yes can you go lay down and i'll give you a treat just one second go lay down and i'll give you a treat okay do you know what that means <laughs> Sorry guys and then green obviously green shouts money again abundance I always charge this with the intention of you guys being a money magnet So you attract money wherever you go opportunities to make money also corresponds with the heart chakra So I feel like red and green go very 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 well when paired together So this one is one of my favorites again for success and good fortune great luck always being in the right place at the right time Knowing what to say in the right moments that's what I charge the green with. And again, if you guys want more detail on that, definitely check out the Poshmark. Link is going to be down below. And if you dolls want to save $10 off of your candle, making it only $5, definitely sign up with Poshmark with my link, Kayla underscore Lachey underscore to save on your purchases. So definitely check them out. Right now, this is all I have because I packed up everything else this morning so thank you guys just know if you ordered from me they're on their way and you should get them between one to three days depending on where you are located during this beautiful full moon in Scorpio I've chosen to burn white which I didn't think you guys were gonna love the white as much as I did I don't really have those stocked as often but those sold out so fast maybe in like a day so I'll try to add more to my Poshmark for you guys it's an overall just great positive clarity type of candle if you feel like you're ungrounded you need some spiritual guidance from whatever source you believe in whether it's God the universe your angels for me it's all the same I kind of group them in the same category um, protection you know from negative energy if you feel like you've been around a lot of negative people in your life and it's starting to affect how you feel you know white is just giving you that white light that washes over your being to cleanse away all of that negativity so I'm definitely gonna try to get some more white for you guys and I just have some crystals at the base some selenite a little moonstone down here as well appropriate for this full moon red you guys saw I just talked about and then green I actually lit two days before the full moon because the energy lingers and it's very strong three days before and then three days after so you get a full week of intense energy to manifest and meditate relax slow down a little bit and just focus on your intentions that's what I like to do during full moons and new moons as well and just sharing my gratitude and welcoming in more amazing opportunities when I'm giving all my thanks you know so like attracts like what's good you guys welcome back okay so it's 3 p.m. right now and I haven't really been vlogging much of today I've kind of been in and out of my workflow and that's the beauty of working from home and running your own business is creating your own schedule, your own hours, deciding how much you're going to work for that day and what it is that you're going to do. So I have some packages here. This is my second time going to the post office. Actually, my third time. Oh my God, my third time today. I've been packing up candles all day today and shipping those out as quickly as possible so that you guys can get them just in time. And... I actually tanned this morning. That was like some self-care stuff I had to do. And I read some 
of my book today. I do want to finish up some journaling on the patio balcony and then doing my meditation today. So all about balance basically. And I need to go get some gas on the way back from the post office. And I didn't think you guys were going to buy all the candles up. I literally have six left. And that's it, which is amazing. I see the same usernames on the labels. So thank you guys for coming back for more. It means the most to me to be able to connect with you guys in this way, literally getting a piece of my energy and getting the sweetest DMs and everything like that. So I think today I have, or this time I have like six. I shipped out like 20 something orders today. So that's incredible. And I'm just gonna relax. I was gonna do some editing, but I've been just doing a lot today. So I'm gonna save that for tomorrow morning. I do wake up at 6 a.m. every day. So I prefer to get a lot of my workflow done in the morning time. So I have more things that I can do in the evening, like meditation, my workouts, and filming purposes, and all of that. And I made myself a second coffee as well. Cause you know, I just need some energy. I might actually finish editing. I know myself well enough to know that I just enjoy getting my work done. Ooh. So that's on the agenda for today. I would feel so sad if I didn't get a little bit of sun. Um, so I laid out for about two hours, enjoyed my fresh juice, and I had like a bowl of fruit out there. I had my playlist going. It was such a vibe. You guys already saw the vlog where I turned my patio into like a beach club situation. I was not drinking today. Instead, I was just soaking up the vitamin D because it really helps with your mood. I know if you're falling into depression, it can really help just to be out in direct sunlight for 30 minutes a day. It helps with your weight management, your energy levels, just so much. So good for you. So I shared a little bit of that on my Insta stories um, today as well. But I'm thinking I'm going to try to do another restock soon. I don't know. I'm just, guys, I'm tired. Okay, I've cleansed, I don't want to, what, 30 or 40 candles in maybe like four days. It's a lot. It takes a lot out of me. So I need to chill for a little bit before I come back with a restock and actually my curly hair routine turned out pretty nice today I know you can't really tell because the back of the Jeep is all black so it kind of blends in but They're soft and they're defined Oof. I don't know but my hair rituals are working. I'm doing so many things and it's not even like that much stuff so my hair journey is going real nice real smooth you guys oh my gosh I hope this post office is open because it's 3 p.m. and the other location that I went to today twice closed at 2 30 so I'm hoping that they're still open for the regular hours fingers crossed oh my gosh I have to give a shout out to Brandon my babe Brandon He's out here killing it. He is a songwriter, so he co-wrote a song on JoJo's new album. You guys remember JoJo from back in the day. Get out, leave right now, cause it's the end of you and me. It's too late, hey, and I can't wait, ooh, for you to be gone. Okay, we just got VIP parking and the meter is green. God bless America. I know this car is not about to stop behind me. I gotta go, cause I gotta, I gotta go ship these packages. Ah! All right, you guys, I am back. That was the quickest drop off ever. So I can't play the song because copyright, but go onto Spotify. It's called Small Things on her new album. And if you click the credits, guess whose name pops up? Brandon Shea. Ah! Okay, we love that. We love when we see our friends doing big things out in these streets. So go give that a listen, you guys. Small things by JoJo on her new album. Don't worry. I already sanitized my hands. I have them on deck. So I feel really good about all the orders that I shipped out today to you guys. And you can kind of see my curls. And I've realized I'm not relaxed. I'm text laxed because 
all the years that I've been doing my relaxer, you guys, I don't leave it on or have never left the thing on long enough for it to make my hair dead straight. It kind of just chilled my curl pattern a little bit and made it a lot more manageable for me to deal with. And I'm seeing that now because all of my new growth, I don't know how this vlog turned into a hair update, but all of my new growth here at my roots are so thick thick you guys and that's why you can see through my hair at the ends because it's so thin and just processed and dead so yes it does have a curl to it but this is not my natural curl pattern and even still with my new growth I want to say I have about an inch and a half going on to two inches of new growth I don't even know still what my pattern is and I know that it's not this but it's very defined here at my roots. So that's a very great sign that my hair is growing, but also I hope I love my texture. I know that's so sad to say like, oh my God, I'm gonna hate my hair when I let it all grow out. Cause I just don't know, to be honest with you guys and 100% vulnerable, I don't know what my hair is going to look like. It's been processed and relaxed since I was in grade school, so. I'm just walking into the unknown at this point, but I'm okay with that because I'm at this point in my spiritual journey where I want to go back to refinding myself and getting to know myself all over again and figuring out what is important to me. Me just over processing my hair for what? Like that's just not something that is important to me. Me wearing makeup all day every day to leave the house is not something that is important to me which is why I cut that out a long time ago. So I'm on my own little spiritual journey trying to find myself all over again, rediscover myself, get to know myself and fall in love with myself all over again. So I kind of guess that this kind of ties in with the whole spiritual thing, but I need to stop sitting here and wasting my gas. Chris Brown and Young Thug have an album together. It's a bop. That's what I've been listening to all day, pretty much every day. So definitely check out my Jeep playlist because that's where I have all of my favorite songs right now. Trap Back, Go Crazy, Say You Love Me, Undrunk, those are such bops. Look, they have Too Short on there and E40 can't tell me nothing ATL is on so you already know I'm about to sit and watch this movie I've not seen it in so long so many amazing people are in this movie so I just thought I would pop in and show you guys my outfits for today of just running errands this little bra top I really don't know where this is from but I've been wearing this a lot recently it's like a stretchy material and it's just so comfortable I have on some joggers here Hey boo from Misguided. So I'll drop a link down below to my favorite sweatpants. All of my sweats are from Misguided and you can get the best deals when they have like their 50% off. And then for my shoes, I just have on my Yeezys. These are super duper comfortable and I always forget that I have these because I have other pairs that I like more, mostly because the sizing of these is a half size too tiny. So I don't wear socks with them and I uh, take out the insoles. So if you have Yeezys and they're the wrong size because for some reason Adidas likes to do weird sizing with the Yeezys, just take out the insole and it'll make it a little bit more roomy inside. I got that hack from a sneakerhead that I found on YouTube. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, you can see my curls a little bit better today. They're so soft. They're not crunchy or anything and I love them. I do have like a wash and go video up on my YouTube channel if you guys are interested in the routine that I do and the products that I use, although I feel as though I should update that because there's just, I don't know, different things I've been doing along the way. And yes, I'm still using rice water to grow my hair. I made a fresh batch a few days ago so I've been putting that in my hair pretty often and with the rice water you have to be careful because it is a protein treatment in that video I go into detail but I have high porosity hair which means that my cuticle is always open so it's very susceptible to humidity and getting poofy and getting frizzy and needing a lot of moisture a lot of deep conditioning a lot of oils a lot of protein so it's been doing wonders for me and my hair and like all of this is new growth and I can see my little curl pattern just my little baby curl pattern peeking out versus how it was a few months ago when I started my little bit of a transition but it's so thick it's crazy so if you guys are transitioning maybe you already transitioned you had relaxed hair what tips do you have for me because I am so new to everything and I've just been diving deep 
into the natural hair community on YouTube. So many amazing people. I'm just trying to find people with hair like mine, similar texture and hair type. Again, since I don't really know what my hair is going to look like, I don't really know what my natural texture is. Like this down here looks like a 3C. This up here, I don't even know. Like it almost looks looser. And I don't know how that's possible. You see my little new growth? It's thick. You see that? You see how you can't see through? You see how you can't see through my roots, like up here, but you can see clearly through the background of my hair down here because it's all dead. That rice water is doing amazing things for me, and my hair just feels so much more moisturized and hydrated, thicker, stronger. It has that elasticity. I hate that word because I can never say it properly, but I feel like my hair isn't breaking off as much as it used to. And when you have transitioning hair at that line, the demarcation line is when it's really prone to breakage because your textures are completely different. So I'm just learning a lot about my hair during this journey of mine. And so far it's going pretty good. And I just wanted to do a wash and go today with my hair out to see what was going on. And now I can fully kind of see what's going on with it. Because, let me see. It's just, it bounces back. It's not like lifeless, you know? And, um, my lightener. So when I'm laying out, I'm using a hair lightening spray. So my hair is kind of red. I don't know if you can see. Obviously, I also did the DIY where I lightened it with baking soda and peroxide. I know I'm like doing all this stuff to my hair, but listen, it's a journey, okay? But um, it's definitely lightening up a lot with the lightening spray, and I feel like it's giving me some dimension. So it's not so dark, one consistent color all over. So I only use that spray when I'm going to be out in the direct sunlight. And I really haven't been using it consistently enough to tell you guys a full-blown review. So give me about a week or so to lay out a little bit more in this LA sun. But I need to stop touching it. It's going to get frizzy. But listen, the amount of times I've been touching my hair today, it's not getting frizzy. That's because your girl... We're all about the moisturizing products. So I might come back and maybe I'll do like a hair journey series and make a playlist because I am doing so much to my hair and I'm doing a trial and error, figuring out what works for me, what doesn't work for me, finding a routine, finding products. And I think it'll be very fun to kind of create like a mini series around it, maybe like a video or two a month just to check in on everything. So we'll see. But I'm gonna go play with my son because he needs some attention right now. He's like, girl, get off the vlog. Play with me. Play with me. Go get it. 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 Watch how he runs back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> you think you slick, eh? <laughs> He's like, where am I gonna go? Can I have it? Can I have it? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. Bring it back. 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 Oh, you think you are slick. How are you just going to run around me like that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I have it? Can I have it? Ah, oh, thank you so much. Hello, my little kangaroo. <laughs> He's about to attack you guys. Oh my god. Boom. Bring it back. 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 I believe in you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, yeah. I'm down south with the West Coast vibe. Keep the vans on when I slide. Still bang screw when I ride. Palm trees when I walk outside. I'm a down south with the West Coast vibe. Someone please send help. I really don't want to edit, but I know if I edit tonight, edit my two videos, I won't have to do it tomorrow. So I'm trying to put a little pep in my step, hype myself up a little bit, and get my life together. Mm -hmm. Leroy's like, girl, you better get your editing in. You telling me to edit? Mm-hmm, I needed that. That's why I love you. Oh, Jesus. What the? Hold on. 
Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get my shit together and focus and get this stuff done. Oh my god. I love when you dolls share me on your stories. I always put you guys on my stories. Share the love. Look at those vibes. She's out in nature. Girl, you are thriving. Call me Kay. Shout out to you. Yes, Leroy's like, shout out to you. Sorry, I'm about to post her to my stories because those are the vibes I'm here for. Okay, how am I? Okay. <laughs> you see why I can't get things done around here? Cause this little cutie. Say, so my mommy gave me a bath yesterday and then today she brushed my teeth. Mm-hmm. You gonna just sit here while I edit? Um, okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Bruh. I'm out here looking like a true Leo with this big hair on my head. All right, girl, you see me procrastinating? This is why I need to meditate right now because my energy is just... Now listen, you guys, I'm gonna give this second of my video to shout out a Jazzy. I follow her on Insta and YouTube, and look at her. Look at her body. She is one of the girls that I follow on social media for like fit everything, like inspiration, motivation. If I'm feeling like, ugh, I don't wanna work out today, or I don't know what kind of workout I'm going to do today, or maybe I'm like feeling not inspired when it comes to my fitness and my goals, then I'll definitely pop over to her YouTube channel or I'll look at her workouts that she posts on her Instagram. Not to mention, she's one of the girls that I have like a curl crush on because her curls, oh my God, her curls are beautiful. She's black and something Vietnamese, I think, like such a pretty mix. And her hair, let me see if I can find a close-up. Like, I'm invested. Okay, her hair length is literally what I want for my hair journey. Because this, the short, okay, she's growing. Oh my god, I'm telling you, that rice water, that shit works, okay? But I love her curls. It's serving me Leo vibes. Okay, her color is everything. The length of her hair. I Oh, you know what? I found her YouTube by watching her curly hair routine. That's what it was because I was trying to find someone that had a similar texture of what I have going on and I think that's what my hair might look like. At least I'm praying to the curl gods like give me hair like her because bitch. It's thick, it's long, it's luscious. Her routine is simple and that's what I'm all about with everything that I do. Like, come on. So anyways, I'm going to drop a link down below to her YouTube channel in case you guys are also looking for motivation for your workouts and your fitness goals or curly hair goals or whatever the fuck you want. Her vibe, her energy is everything and I really like her content that she puts out. So go check her out. Let her know I sent you or don't. I don't know, but I just wanted to share.